What are your names? Well, my name is Juan Jose del Moral, but I like to be called Juanjo. My name is Neida Macias, and I like to be called Neida. My name is Paola, and I like Paola. <laughs> my name is Abelardo, but my friends call me Abby. Thank you very much. And um, what did you make for your project? Well, we made like a kind of fountain that spins with water. Um, it was supposed that light will come up. So we did it with this kind of material, so it will pass the light. And um, it was a little bit of a mess to put the <laughs> wire because it gets out of the from the motor. See? So when it like spins, so like water will come out and it will like squirt you, kind of. Can you guys show it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Why did you decide to build this kind of project? decided because it has all the parts we were searching for. We thought that the light will come like pretty cool from the fountain and it will like turn so it will be like water dripping and the music will be very very like very nice to hear and we will the people will like it to hear music in a fountain. And what was the most difficult for you? Um, I don't know. Like sticking, like sticking the fountain into the motor. Yes. Okay. Because it keep it keep going out, and we couldn't stop it. Well, there. And what was the most fun for you? Uh, water spilling out from yeah. outside the the, the, the the mountain, the fountain. For me, it was doing like the kind of um, bricks, bricks in the fountain. Um, yeah. 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 No necesitan todos uh, and contestar todo. It's okay. And uh, com uh, do you find it different from scratch? Yeah. Yes. Why? Um, scratch is like it's a little visual, and he we can make it by sounds and yeah. movements. It was and like in the, only the computer scratch, and here we could do it like scratch was spiritual and this was physical. Okay. Yes. Thank you all so much. What are your names? Well, my name is Bernardo. I'm the leader from programming the crickets for this project. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm a, well, not all, but some of the designer of our, of our project, the cricket. And what is your project supposed to do? Well, our project is uh, supposed to be like a more, uh, more or less a police car. Um, uh -huh, I feel like a police car, but it will depend really on the light, so it's like an ecological project. So, when we have programmed it to, when we push the button, here in the display we're going to see the revolution from the motor, and it will depend on the light, so let's start. As you see, it will depend on the light. Wow. It's like, uh, right. it's really to use it like when you want something in your room and you are a little lazy, you just put a button <laughs> and it takes to you. Very cool. So why did you decide to make this particular project? Uh, because it, it was a nice idea, so we could so we so we could use all the all the components of the. Of the kit. You can use the main components from the Pico crickets, uh, like the way wait until we touch the bottom and it have to depend in the brightness of the light and the, mo the motor is like the really cool thing about Pico Crickets. Um, we use lights in the car for make it like a little more interesting. <laughs> yes, and so what was the most uh, difficult thing? It really was difficult not to the program in the programming part, the difficult thing thing was to make it uh, go uh, smooth, all smooth, all in the same time. Like we have tried to put a little melody, 
but when we have when we put melody, the display was a little bit uh, slower. Slower. It it don't show the the revolution until two seconds or five seconds. Another difficult thing was to program this cricket because we had to program it uh, also in the same file of the computer, but like another in another part, so we could so the lights could turn on. It it was really. Uh, in Pico Frickets, in the software, it was, it was really cool to do it. It was really easy to do it. You can just have one file and program like five crickets and do different things. But really, the, pro the problem was that the two crickets don't get confused and do the same thing the other two. So we have to program it uh, separately with the with the box. And what was the most fun thing? The most fun. Or your favorite? See it work. <laughs> Seeing it work. Okay, good. And also, it has come to life, so we want it to go to home with us. We can do it. And also, is there a difference that you find between crickets and scratch that you would like to mention? Uh, yes, because in the cricket you can make it physically. In the scratch you can only make it in the computer. It's only. Uh, it's only image. Yeah, there's, there's something it's really mean thing about the Scratch and Pico Crickets because with Pico Crickets you can program it and it will do it in the real life and with Scratch you do it in animations. So, also, we, the, the similarities are the way you program it. You can in Pico Crickets do it two ways, with source code or with the blocks like in Scratch. And in Scratch you can, do, you can just do it really easy with the image, the costumes and the blocks in the scripts section. Anything else you would like to tell us? I want to buy some crickets. Thank you.